In this video, we're taking a look at an app that allows you to store files, a history of your copy and paste clipboard, and take some notes. Also, be sure to watch to the end of the video so you can see how you can get a free license for this app. What's up guys, this is Max Square, and if you're new to the channel, I make videos all about tech tools for entrepreneurs. So if you're into that, be sure to like and subscribe below. So this app is called Unclutter, and the way it works is it'll just stay hidden until you go up to your menu bar and you scroll down. And you'll see we have three separate panels here. On the left, we have a file section, and then in the middle, we have a history of your clipboard, and then some simple notes. So starting off with the files panel, this is a really great way to quickly put a folder or a group of files in there temporarily until you can open up the next app, maybe if you're sharing it in an email with someone. But what you can also do is make aliases so you can actually add a shortcut to a folder that you use often. So when you're dragging in a folder, you can actually hold down the command and alt key and you'll see a little arrow that pops up in the bottom left. And then when you let go, it'll create a shortcut to that folder. So it's not duplicating the folder, it's basically just making a shortcut. So when you double click on it, it'll open that folder in a new finder window. Next we have the clipboard history. So anything you copy, whether it's a link, any type of text or a file, it'll show up here and you can limit that number of items from 10 to up to 50. So the very top link is the last thing that you have copied. So if I were to go over here and paste it in, you'll see it's the same thing. But if I click any one of these on the list, it'll actually replace that on my clipboard. Now one cool thing here is that they've actually made all of the text editable. So if you paste in something and you realize you need to change it, you can click into that item and you can just replace it to whatever you need but it'll actually update and then copy it for you. So you don't have to select it all and copy, it'll just dynamically update for you. You can also favorite any item that you need. So if there's something you're typing in every day, you can just favorite that. And if we swipe over to the right, you can actually see all your favorited items there. Now, even if you clear your history, those starred items will still be there. They just won't show up in your recent list. Now lastly, we have the notes panel, and this is a very simple editor. I liken this to the Sticky Notes app for Mac, if you're familiar with that. It's really just a place to drop down a couple of simple notes. I wouldn't use this for a big project where I need to take some tedious notes. I usually find myself throughout the day needing to write a couple things down really quickly that I don't need long term, I just need to put it somewhere and I don't wanna go open up an actual note app, find the folder that I need. I can just scroll down, paste this in or type whatever I need to and it just sits right there when I need it. So that's essentially the whole app. It's pretty simple and obviously there's a couple other settings like adjusting which panels show up, you can limit the number of clipboard items, or even search through the files and notes that you've taken inside the app. I really love how unobtrusive the app is, and to me, I feel like it's three apps in one because you're getting the note-taking feature, the history for your clipboard, and a file shortcut. And I've seen different apps do those things individually, but having them all together and hidden in this way is really useful. Now the creators of this app were very generous in giving me three extra codes to give away to you guys. So I'm gonna put those up on the screen and this'll just work on a first come first serve basis. I'll try and update the video somehow once all the codes are expired or as they're being activated, but that's how you can access those codes. Anyway guys, that is it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. If so, be sure to like and subscribe down below and I will see you in the next one.